Hello and welcome to the Gospel Package. The Gospel Package is a 30 minutes program that captures the life and struggle of our library gospel artists, the things they go through in producing the wonderful gospel songs we're listening to. On today's segment of the Gospel Package, I'll be talking to one of the library's youngest artists, a rapper indeed. This guy has been in the game for a long period of time, just doing his own thing, you know, in a hip hop way, appreciating God and winning a lot of soul out of Christ. But before we go to our guest, Jeremy, we'll take a very short break, and after the break, you have the chance to listen to his story. Welcome back. As I told you before going for the break, I have one of library's youngest gospel artists, a rapper indeed. Somebody is using his talent as a hip-hop artist to win soul for Christ. Uh, Jeremy, how do welcome to the gospel package? Thank you, Emmanuel. Uh, there is a platform in which our library gospel artists like, tell that story that also going to think to go through in producing the kind of teaching songs and stand for listening to the life transforming song. So uh, it's a privilege having you on this program today. Thank you. So, knowing you from the past, you know, I mean, being a secular artist, I don't know what really, like, what really the cost of the translation of you being a secular artist and teaching to be a gospel writer? Um, actually, I grew up in a church and I had passion for music, but all of my secular songs was clean. So, um, making the decision was in hard and I think it was my calling. It was your calling by God? Yeah. All right, I know people want to listen to a lot of that story, but... A lot of people like watching and this just Jeremy, they don't know much about you, you're growing up, a family background. So can you just say something small about yourself that somebody watching the program will know? Okay, my name is Jeremy Estama. I was I was born into the union of Mr. and Mr. Tama. Um I graduated from high school and I'm a I'm a college student. Right now. Yeah, yeah. So You've been a rapper from the beginning. Was the parents support of it? All true. So was you was you like was your rap based on like touching story, even though it was a sackcloth stuff, but was it like a touching story or life transforming story that you're rapping from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um my all of all of my songs was um inspirational songs. Like the song with 
KCW called My Life Is Music. Um, a lot of songs I did was inspirational. Everything was totally inspirational. So, yeah. so as we're on the point of acting, so what was really the key thing, the key word that you hold that you left Sackers and get on the path of the gospel? It was just the time. It was just the time to leave. So what was the call? I know something, something was the cause. Was that, it didn't just happen out of a sudden. God called me, that's all. That's also like God called you, just woke up early in the morning, just saw yourself and tell yourself, yeah, God called me, so I'm bringing the gospel. Uh, I, I had a friend that talked to me about it, and I was I downplay it as if, leave that man, I'm not ready yet. But I, I sat down and uh, think about my life and Think about um, how life going when I die tomorrow. Where will I go? So I, I, I then I, I told him, I told him what I've been thinking about in the past. How I started my game. I grew up in the church. I said, boy, I think it's the time. So you, you, you growing up in the church from the earliest stage of a career and was a sacred artist. Me being on the wrong path. How was it like for you? How was it respond from the church? I was doing music, actually. I was doing music because I, I had passion for it. So I, it wasn't like sacral or, you know, I was doing music. Gospel, so, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, music, not sacral or gospel. Yeah, I was doing music. So, what was the response from the church then? Was it positive or negative? I stopped going to church for a long period of time. Okay, so your affiliation at that time probably like drive you out of the church. You got yeah. a busy schedule. Yeah. So, you now swapping over from that lifestyle to the right path that you're on right now. How's the response from your friend? <laughs> Mixed response. Like some of them, we used to hang up once in a while, hang up the club on the shoes, but it's still growing. They call me brand new man now. So you caught up all those friendships, like I ain't got anything from all the things I used yeah. to do in the past. The past is going on as a person I'm operating on. Yeah. So I have been like, being in the gospel setting right now, being a gospel artist. Why are some of the community enjoying as a gospel artist? Mm, I feel I feel good being a gospel artist. Yeah, I feel good, and my my church got my back. Yeah, they embrace the idea a lot, and I I just feel good in that place. Feel so good I in that respect area. like because being a soccer artist, we know that there's a lot of respect that is taken from you. We just look at you as an ordinary person, and you being a gospel artist, you have the privilege to meet a lot of God tax seven. A lot of God type generating in this nation. Is that I respect have gone high? Maybe you are probably local to so look at you like any other person, but now you be on the right path of gospel at it. I don't know how to respond from people like the men of God, your pastor, and other pastors around, other people around. How to respond from that? I get good respond. They embrace me. Like, yeah. They show me that love. The best way to find love is in the church and living for God. So you enjoy the music of, uh, music of kind of, uh, like being a gospel artist, right? Yes. All right. So what is the latest song right now you got out? Uh, I got a single called um, Notable Blessing. You can find it on Claws, Labira.com. Notable Blessing. Produced by who? By Don Chie from America and Jackie Ross. So how did you respond from the song? Yeah, a lot of people download mm -hmm. I think I got about 60 plus downloading the songs, people following the songs. Alright, so since you swap over, what was the first song I was produced since you led the Sackler Sackler the Gospel song? Notable Blessing. So what's the inspiration behind Notable Blessing? Um, the song was about asking God to bless me and to give me a notable blessing. Yeah, something that would show to other people that I'm in the right place. Yeah. So I, I was asking him for a blessing, something that I would show. Out. That man would see that the guy's the living God. That's 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 the whole concert about the song. Okay, like asking God to bless you that man will see and know that indeed you are left from the wrong path to the right path. Yeah. So swapping over now from the cycle of the gospel, but what are some of the obstacles you faced in the beginning? Um, actually, if, um, before switch, 
after I switched, I lost my manager, I lost a lot of fans, a lot of supporters. But I wasn't deterred because I knew that God, God, God would give me more than that. So when your, your past manager observed that you left the circle side and gospel side, mind your back off. Yeah, we had a little mixing understanding before I decided to, 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 to live for God. So, you losing fame and losing your manager. How you all come that stress? You know, like, you'll be sitting like regretting every movement. Why you have to leave on this spot? How you all come that stress as an individual? You know, with God, everything is possible. I knew that I was going to lose a lot of fans, friends, and supporters. But with God, everything is possible, so I overcome it. So say you lose that, manage, um, that, 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 that managing thing or that management, have you been able to have another management? To have another yeah, management? I yeah, I got a new manager. Personally? Yeah, I got a new manager right now. In the now. church or what? From my church. Okay. So you having a new manager, how is the working relationship between you and a new management team? It's, it's a little bit cool than before. So they're like in support of everything, like believing the dream, the yes. road out, where you're heading to, you can make it there. Yes. So you got any new stuff coming or send a little blessing travel? Yeah. In August, I'll be working on, on a hip hop, gospel hip hop album. August. In the middle of August, the project was that. Yeah, tell more about the project. Okay. The, the project I haven't started yet, so I yeah, can't. Yeah, but I'm not only expected to be on the It songs. It yeah. It's songs. Gospel hip hop album, it songs. It songs. You got some studio right now working on. Projects will start in August. So that's all you can say about probably yeah, project yeah, right yeah. now. In August, you got anything more to say about it? But August is okay. August. Okay. You got you got any plan of shooting any other the any video like the notable Blacksy like, video and stuff? August. But everything will work up in August. Yeah, right? yeah. Next so. month. So I want, I, want, I, want, I want you to tell us something. Somebody's watching now and want to know about this new manager. Is your managing team right now signing other artists or just only you to do them? Only me. Only you? Yeah. So what's the name of your manager? At least the person be proud out of the year name. Her name is Diamond Tokwadoya. Oh, it's a female? Yeah. Is she an artist who has a pastor? Or? Member in the church. Just a clean memory. Yeah. All right, Jeremy. Let's get back into the past life. Being a soccer eyes and now, why are some of the obstacles that we faced that time and this time we're not going through it? Like being a soccer artist, some people say I was disrespected. Oh, I didn't follow me for doing this, but now I have it. People say, oh, I didn't have nobody. Everybody fell on the wrong path that I could come to the hospital. At some point, I've been able to talk to. So what was your own experience in the circle side? Circle, um, actually, when I was doing circle music, I used to produce some of the best songs, but never made that hit. Yeah, work with some of the best artists in the country. I even have other artists to come up. Yeah, mm -hmm. other artists can, yeah, they can, they can attest to it. But it was it was the only um, um, obstacle, no hate. But you had to steal the time. Mm -hmm. You had a management team. Yeah. No, from the, from the genesis of a career, and I want to know from the genesis of a career. I was the obstacles are from the genesis, not just you being already being a problem. Like you got a place on already around. What was the obstacle from the genesis of a career? I don't have. I, I don't think I. I, I know. Obstacles at that time, of my my genesis, because I came in again. Soon we we did we did the first song with the group called Black Soldier, and I think you know you know all about the Black Soldiers. No, but somebody else on the year. So. Yeah, we we did our first song called I Ain't Playing, and we 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 did a video one week, so everything was going cool. We did a video one week after recording the song and one year from, from that we, we traveled to 
Sierra Leone. So everything was going cool from the Genesis. Everything was going cool. So from the secular side, from the beginning, it was going cool. Now to the gospel side, everything's also like going cool on the single Yeah, 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 yeah. On the single part. So it's like go have a blessing in your heart, too. Yeah. So do you have any like intentional after you like maybe you got additional plan like getting other gospel artists in collaboration working on together as team? Yes, yes. Who you got on your list? I got you know, two person from my church I'll be working with on my album. Mm -hmm. And I got some other artists that I, I was working with when I was doing secular music. So I trying to pull them over okay, and bring them to the gospel side. So I got I got plans for that. Yeah, hey, I saw your picture last time, Motivation EMT. You saw any record by the name of Motivation EMT? No, it's my own. I, I own that that entertainment. Well, you you the CEO of that entertainment? Yes. You got any artists on you working with you? Yeah. I got two artists right now. Yeah, true, Nima, you gotta say. I got Lisa Williams. And I got two artists, but the other artists are still trying to pull in over to, to the gospel side, so I can't mention his name right now. So how is the working relationship in the team? It's cool. We got a good, we got a good working relationship. So is it, it, you guys on the same management team, right? The same manager like you have, or you personally manage no, them, somebody no. else is managing? Yeah, yeah. They don't have a manager right now. Okay, so everybody like right on the platform that you own right now. Yeah. So, what is the record relationship between you and Trady and the rap crew that you got hired before when you just switched? What's the first person? Oh, uh, Jesus niggas, yeah. right? Yeah. I, when I decided to live for God and I, I saw Jesus niggas as, uh, as a starting point in a way for us. So, I joined the group and. We, we did a song and we did a video, we did a tribute video for the late Quincy B and all. Yeah, so the, the, the group, group is nice. Yeah, good working relationship. Yeah, but I decided to work on my own now. It was just a starting point for me. All right, before you tell more about the Jesus nigga, we'll take a very short music break. And after the break, we'll hear more from Jeremy he and the Jesus nigga. We took a very short break.